Every time I log into Rust, I feel like I have the choice between two options. I could either be that guy you want to play against. The guy with the normal kit, normal guns, normal attachments, you know, nothing too crazy. Or, I could be that menace. That little rat who sits in his bushes with his full camo kit, night vision, and suppressed guns, just waiting for you to walk into his view so he can suppress you without you ever knowing he was ever there. And for this wipe, I decided to be that little menace. Yo, yo, yo! We are bad with another wipe, yes sir. We're gonna be playing solo though. This wipe, um, it's been a few wipes since I played solo. I mean, I've tried to do things, or do a little solo wipes here and there, but I keep getting offline, so... I guess we'll see how this one goes. And if you couldn't already tell by the title and the intro, uh, this wipe I'll be using suppressors only, so once I got a suppressor, I was gonna learn it, and I was gonna rock it on every gun I could. So, um, yeah, it might be kind of lame to some of y'all, but I just wanted to see how broken suppressors really were. So let's get into it. It's a little different than, the, you know, the normal play style you guys you probably would like to see, but at least I'm doing it solo, I guess you could say. So, um, yeah, there are a few good shops on the server, you know. If I do, uh, if it ends up coming to that. Seems like the server's pretty popping, too. A bunch of brain and venom machines. I've seen a few big bases. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see what I can get up to. Probably just gonna work on getting bags all around the map for the time being. There are low-key quite a few uh, pretty large bases on the server. Hopefully that means uh, there's a few, few groups I could uh, potentially get to offline me. As of now, I think this N21 ISIC would be a pretty good spot. Uh, because you know me, I like my little launch site. Alright, well it's just a 2 by one right now, but... This is the king. And after a bit of randomly spawning around the map, just trying to figure out what was going on in the server, this ended up happening. Alright, well, uh, I guess I get what my teammates, uh, you know, my friends mean now when they say I'm the luckiest Rust player. Because what in the world just happened? That was actually the luckiest thing ever. Alright, I guess I got a little start.
I don't know what in the world's going on here. Oh my god. Uh, I guess I got an even better start. And after getting one of the luckiest starts I've had in a minute, I decided to hop in a boat and make my way over to the snow where I wanted to build. Got another nice little base over there. Thing just decayed. No TC. Oh my God. Yo, why is it low key loaded? Actually, such a good start. This is like the lucky start I've ever had. I sealed the base up quite a bit. I have two layers of uh, wood that I can sauce that out when I get back on. And I got two sheet doors down. Um, yeah, server's pretty popping. This isn't the deep snow, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone came and raided it because they did see it's like full decaying pretty much. But um, yeah, let's see what happens uh, when I get back on in a couple hours. Let's see if it's raided. Alright boys, um, doesn't appear that we have been, uh, our little base here got raided. Is that W? It's been like six hours. So, um, yeah. I guess we should just, uh, get to grinding. So we got a nice little iceberg base out here.
god. Oh my god. Why is he so loaded? It's time to get back to base. Kinda loaded. After making it back to base with a decent bit of loot that I uh, had been collecting, um, I ended up hearing this. If I'm not mistaken, I just heard a boom. Did indeed. Yo, there's looking like a fat base getting built down here. This guy lives on this ice lake and he's just like offlining this. This thing being built up on this river. I think I'm gonna let him use the boom and then just kill him when he gets in. This guy clearly is like being careful while I'm bringing up. Certain amount at a time. See me, bro. I think he did see me. I got two rockets and a C4. Not too shabby. I don't really know what that guy was doing, bro. The raider. He's like just raiding it like the safest way possible, I guess, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> Pretty much got the perfect amount for a stone wall. So I'm just gonna go slap it on this uh, base on the ice lake over here. Alright, 
That is the uh, worst raid I might have ever done. I mean, all right. I don't know why that guy's not shooting at me. Dude, that guy just makes so many meds. I mean, so many bandages. What's this guy doing? That's like actually an NPC. And what is that? He literally crafted two lines of bandies to, to go roam with the Tommy. Looking at my inventory here, I accidentally somehow left the L9, but I don't even care. Honestly, bro, call me weird for camping that guy, but he is bringing one boom, or one door worth of boom back to that vase. Every time, and he's coming either naked or has he Tommy. Like, how weird is that guy be just for an offline? It's crazy. It's actually crazy. And after getting a pretty juicy uh, raid counter there, um, it was getting pretty late. So I decided to just seal up the base again because I didn't really feel like moving loot into a new base that would just get offline anyways. And uh, yeah, call it a night. Uh, funny enough though, that M2 kit I just got from that counter, it ends up getting found because I stashed it. So I guess we'll never see that M2 again. But I think using suppressors on other guns was dirty enough for this wipe. So suppressed M2 would have been crazy anyways. Alright, let's see if we're not offline. Alright y'all, we are somehow not offline. I'm honestly really surprised. I really thought uh, the guy we took a bunch of loot from over here would have found it and done something about it, but I guess not. There's always a W. But... That being said, got quite a bit of work to do, so let's get to it. Of course, someone had to build on the ice lake. Which is legit where I was going to build. Yeah, I think I'm going to go try to evict this kid real quick. logged off bro well he just watched him run into his base and he just logged oh my god why is he kind of loaded 
guess I'll take that. Alright, now oh, it's night time. I think it's time to go slap down this, uh, this starter base of mine. And after moving pretty much all my loot that I had to my, you know, my new base, uh, I got a full green kit ready, and I decided to go roam around the map, see what I could run into. These guys seem like they might be active, so I think I'll just wait outside their base for a little bit till they leave or something. is for it's gonna be very hard kill them all there's five bro one two three four five I mean they gotta be going to do something though so time to stalk those bad boys down that's them yeah two by two raid base they're onlining them. This will be hard, but it'll be doable, honestly. You guys are just terrible, bro. Oh my god. I'm out, bro. Oh my god. Why is that kid just have all the boom on him? HVs for bread, I got boom to go raid someone. Brand new AK. This AK skin's kinda gas, what do you guys think? Loki like it. Just came out today. And after getting a pretty hefty boom donation, 
Uh, I went around the map a little bit trying to find someone to use it on, but I ended up just going with the iceberg that we seen the night before. You now maybe they'd be loaded. Oh my god, I forgot a I forgot a launcher, bro. I can't believe I just did that. I'm gonna go up the front door real quick, just to check it out. Try to get a feel of what's going on here. Alright bro, what in the world is this base? Honestly, it might not have been worth it for the boom I used, but I got a suppressor, so I'm happy, low key. So as you can see, I wasn't able to fully get into their core. They had an armored bunker, and it was honeycombed, and it was kind of like a crazy, weird looking base. I didn't know how to rate it, to be honest, so I probably wasted some boom. But nonetheless, it wasn't my boom to begin with, and I got a suppressor, so I was low key happy. And uh, right when I got back to base with that loot, Brad started getting taken, so I went and learned the suppressor, uh, crafted one, popped it on my uh, LR, and went and uh, went to launch the frag out. All right, well I messed up because this guy sees me already. I just hit him there. It's 3 HP. What the hell? I'm so dead, it's crazy. What is that guy doing up there, bro? Okay, it's gotta be terrible, bro. That's dead. Guys, the oh my god, I just whipped so bad. Oh my 
god. I right, don't mind the whiff here, but go watch that back in 0.5 speed and tell me that man did not just mid-air jump shot me with that rocket launcher straight to the dome. I guess I go for this body here. Oh my god. Those were headshots, he's dead. Oh my god, here we go. Doubled. Alright, that guy's dead too. Why is everyone just full kit, bro? I don't get it. And like one HP. Alright, suppressors are actually disgusting, bro. Alright, well, if that one breath probably doesn't show you how broken suppressors are. I don't know what will show you that, but I gotta go uh, hop off for a bit. Well, I'm gonna just be AFK in the base for like 30 minutes, but I gotta take a little break and do some things at real. So hopefully we don't get raided in this uh, time period where I'm gone. But not okay. Let's just look at this over real quick. Almost all of this loot is from this one Brad fight, bro. Is that actually crazy? Alright, well, through my short break of uh, getting some food, 
It's now time to uh, really get grinding, I guess you could say. <clears throat> I had some comments on my last video about my furnace base and how I made the peaks looking back towards my base. So here's that for those of you who wanted that. And skipping over some more of the boring stuff, uh, which was pretty much just me building a second story on my base. I went out for a run with a four time suppressed AK, and that's when this ended up happening. Oh my god, I gotta make it back to launch. Hello? How many bullets was that for our heads? That's crazy. I had like a pure healthy on or something, bro. Two full cuts dead. Oh 
my god, bro. Is that all just garbage? everything And a lot of juice. Thanks. I killed this guy up here. I killed him. I have no clue how it's a body bag already. <clears throat> God, what is he doing in there? That's so scary. And after that fight, I was about to hop off because it was getting late. But then uh, someone ended up trying to raid my furnace base. So, you know, I had to stay on.
I forgot to grab bullets. I can go steal that kid in actually. I really wanted to. It's gonna be hard to get over there with the, my peaks that he's using. Is that a favorite gun like an MP5 or something? And that doesn't really did not feel good. I try to cut off his boy, bring him to more boom. And after fighting these guys for a little bit, you know, just going back and forth, uh, they ended up giving up trying to raid the furnace base. So, I ended up getting it, you know, getting it back. Alright, well, I stayed up as late as I could. Um, there's legit nothing I can, else I can do. So, I'm just going to seal up the base the best I can. And log off. Because there's nothing else I really can do. So... We'll see if we're offline in the morning, I suppose. Now it's really the end of day two. And hopping on early day three, surprisingly enough, I wasn't offline through the night. Um, and I was able to counter a raid and take over a raid that the guys that I first countered the raid from this wipe. Uh, the guy bringing back like two rockets every, you know, every five minutes. Um, I was able to counter their raid on the guys who tried to raid my furnace base last night. And they had mixed their, missed their pixel gap bunkers. So I was able to get all that loot. But it didn't really matter because I had a busy day. And while I was off for the rest of the day, I ended up getting offline by some random dude that I'd never even seen on the server. Never even fought, but that's just rust for you. So, yeah. And to be honest, I really didn't expect my base to make it this far anyways. Uh, I wasn't really able to fully grind like I am for most of my videos. Um, you know, I was just on here and there when I could be because I had some IRL things going on. But I was still happy with how this wipe turned out, and that's why I'm making it into a video. Um, I had uh, a lot of solo wipes go bad recently because uh, I make a play, you know, build up, hit a nice snowball, and then I just get offline the first night while I'm at school. So uh, it's been kind of tough to get the solo wipe out for y'all. But... I think I'm going to have to run this back, get a raid defense maybe for this wipe, and maybe build a more hidden base. Uh, if that's something you guys would like to see, you know, make sure to leave a comment and let me know. And if you watch this far, you know, make sure to like and comment, you know, and maybe and maybe subscribe if you haven't yet. And, you know, it helps me out a lot. lets me know that you guys are liking the videos. And make sure to leave feedback and all that too if, uh, if you got any feedback from me. But anyways, 
Uh, thanks for watching this far if you have. You know, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right?